lesbians are the underrepresented group even within the LGBT community. They almost say like, the problem is all the gay boys and the queer boys, they steal all the thunder because that's actually true. Now in the Indian society, when a boy says he's, he's a femme boy if he's gay, they might still force him to marry, but somewhere people understand because you may not physiologically be attracted to a woman, you may not actually get an erection, you may not be able to perform. With a lesbian though, I've seen so many lesbians being forced into marriage because parents say, you marry, you marry, you marry, you marry, you marry, you marry, because the thing is then you're just treated as this object who the husband will just marry. And you know, this point is so true because even within the LGBTQ hierarchy, lesbian representation is almost so minimal because a lot of people say, you marry, 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 and you know, that aspect has been so fundamentally now in the last couple of uh, years come forward because the lesbians are saying now our rights seem to always be sort of overshadowed when the boys are talking. And you know, again, the, the really weird part, even within the discrimination, we always say that India is a very patriarchal society. And I thought one of the activists I was talking to said it so beautifully and almost tongue in cheek saying, even in the LGBT P2K sextrum, we are again being patriarchal because we are now focusing more on the men and their gay rights and often the lesbians are overshadowed. Forget about gay or straight marriage. A lot of us are now of the opinion that marriage itself is an institution is crumbling. So now the standing joke is becoming by the time the LGBTQ activists on all of us manage to get like marital rights and civil union rights in India, we'll be coming to a point where the society is a bit gay or straight or alag baat hai. You know, but actually my story and what I feel around me is is I'd like to give a more positive outlook to it. I know we like to believe that a lot of things didn't happen in this and that, but when we sitting in a country where actually a lot of the rights that we have are incredible. Look at what's happening in Qatar today. Look at what's happening in Brunei all the time. Actually in India, and you know, with, with 377 being done the way it was, the kind of advertising we're now seeing, the kind of content we're seeing on social media, the kind that we actually see from Bharat, from rural small town India, you've got couples, gay couples who are actually putting up stories, making out, you know, uh, putting videos where you're very cutely, affectionately kissing each other. Yes, across the world, homophobia has never stopped. In the biggest and the most developed countries in the world, there is still homophobia. To say that we are expecting everyone to just suddenly love everyone who's gay is going to be a bit of an outstretch because that's probably not likely going to happen, right? But the fact is, the kind of things that you're actually seeing in India, just between you and me, even as a journalist, how many incredible conversations like did were we able to do before 377, right? People are out, people are open, pride parties are there, you can go to pride party without thinking you're going to be a shot down, there's going to be a massacre. Luckily, thank God in India, we've never had hate crimes. In the US, again, you had like a shooting a couple of weeks ago, which is at a, at a gay pub, right? We don't have these problems. I feel sometimes we don't give our country and our people enough credit. We're all evolving. You know, a lot of people would tell me stuff like, hey, why don't you encourage everyone to come out? If your parents and grandparents are in their 70s and 80s, all of this is new to them. Pronouns are new to them. Gender neutrality is new to them. Gender neutral fashion is new to them. So I feel like people have to walk on eggshells around the LGBT community sometimes. I actually personally think people are taking it really well. I feel the Indian diaspora, Bharat and India together are actually coming together really well on this. Shadi ka to pata nahi, meko to shadi Ranbir Kapoor se karni thi, usse shadi kar li, so now I don't really care about it. But I feel generally shadi itself is crumbling. You know, for example, what our lawyer friend was saying, well, he's, so, he's so right. It's all good to say we want to have gay people getting married, but really, what about the divorces? What about the inheritance? Our court courage, kacheri ke cases, probably ke itne saal chalte hain. I don't think the back end might be really ready for it, right? But I feel in terms of acceptance, full credit Mera Bharat Mahan, I think the people of India are actually much more forward thinking that we give them credit for.